Hey guys, what is up and welcome to today's video. If you don't know me, my name is Rosa. I am a part-time reseller on the apps Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and I send stale inventory into ThreadUp. And today I am doing another Savers Haul. This is actually part two of my Savers Haul. The last part was a thrift with me slash haul, and today is just gonna be the haul, showing you the rest of the stuff that I got at my 50% off sale from Savers. If you guys wanna watch part one, go ahead and check it out. The link will be down below as well as up in the cards above, and you can actually see what I see when I'm thrifting as well. So without further ado, let's get right into it. If you guys like this video, like, subscribe, and let's get started. I have like basically two and a half bags worth of stuff right here because I have all these sweaters on the side here that just took up a lot of room. Let's go in and start with the first item. The first item in here is the called Jane and Delancey. That's what the tag looks like. And it's just this really nice plaid, kind of like a soft material sweater. It's really nice in great condition. The next item, I don't remember half the stuff anyway, so I apologize. Um, the next item is this soft surroundings top. It is a size X, uh, 1X. And it's just this dark wash paisley top, really beautiful. Next we have this top and I think I bought this for myself so I may put this to the side, but this is Wild Fable and I do love Wild Fable's designs. I find them to be really nice. And this is just a dark academia style sheer blouse. I may just end up listing it because I feel like this will sell quickly with the dark academia key words it probably lives for like 15 dollars when i go thrifting i try to find stuff that i can sell for more than 20 so oh i did end up getting this okay so this is the brand called orange creek los angeles i think it's a boutique brand but it did look quite expensive and i liked it because it was my boho type look for my store it's just boho, almost prairie looking, but I thought it was really pretty. It's just this gorgeous, like muted goldenrod pastel yellow color. It actually would have been a really nice Easter color, but it's already past Easter by the time all these are going to go. All right, next we have some denim. So I did end up picking up some denim. The first are these Miss Me jeans in the, in the boot style, and they are size 27. And I picked them up because of the back. It has that awesome angel design, so I think these will sell really well. I'll probably list these particular ones for maybe 40 or 50, probably 40, because they are the boot, plus they have this amazing gold-like detail on the side here. So then I picked up some bras. I'm trying to get into the intimate sector of everything. So we will see how these go. Um, I don't know anything about independence, but I looked a lot of this stuff up on Salhound. This is a brand new with tags, Danskin Independence, size 42D. And I picked this up because it was brand new with tags. I know Danskin doesn't sell for too, too much, but I felt like this was a really pretty kind of design. This is totally my style of bra, even though I don't wear bras like this. It's also kind of push-up-y. I don't know, we'll see how bras do. I do want to get more into intimates. Um, I think people buy intimates definitely secondhand. We have another bra. This is by the brand Third Love, which if you, I'm actually wearing a Third Love bra right now. It's not my favorite bra in the world, but this one seems like it's the exact same bra I own, which is the t-shirt bra, I think. Memory Foam Lace Balconette. That's what it's called. It's a 38C. And it was originally $5.49, but I got it for half off. And it's just this really pretty lace bra, perfect for like an anniversary. Oh, sorry, an anniversary or something. But yeah, so I got that. The next bra I picked up, I thought it was just really cutesy. It's Oscar de la Renta, new with tags, um, in Blue Lagoon, the pink label. I don't know. But it's new with tags, so I picked it up. It's kind of for girls who, it's kind of for the smaller boobage as well. I don't wanna just get bigger sizes. I do wanna get smaller as well. And I just think these are just easy to freaking store. Like you can store so many bras in one bin. So I think if I can get more into intimates, I can maybe one day get a bin that's just filled to the brim with bras. And this is the size 38B. 
really, really cute. And then the last bra I got was this one. This is a, let's see, Lily of France size large bralette. I love these kind of bralettes. I wear these from, I wear this one from um, True Love, True Love? True Finds, True Finds. I don't remember what my bra company is, but I did buy a bunch of bras from the site. I really like it. And one of them is like this, and it's called like the Everyday Bralette, but it's for people with bigger chesticles, like yours truly. So yeah, I got this. It's by Lilia France, and this probably will be like a nice, maybe $20 sale. Who knows? I don't know. That's the first bag. Second bag, let's go, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, get it, get it. We got a cut from the cloth, size 22 wide, in the Mia High Rise Skinny. So this is a plus size skinny jean. Really amazing condition. As I mentioned in the first video, when I show you my thrift with me, I am quite picky with my jeans nowadays. Um, next, we have the 724 High Rise Straight, size 28, in a dark wash. And this is just Levi's, and they're straight jeans. People, all the kids love the straight jeans nowadays, so I went and picked it up. Okay, we have more intimates, guys. Sorry, I didn't even notice. Okay, so we have this girl right here. This is a Soma 40 Triple D. I'm definitely gonna have to use my mannequin for these, I think, or I don't know how I'm gonna photograph these, but just a triple D. They look like they have staining, but this is just like a, a nipple cover. I don't know. Can I even say that on YouTube? I don't even know. But it's just a beige bra, very neutral. That's the kind I'm wearing right now. Holla for your, holla to your girl. Um, all right. We have these, this is the North Face size eight cargo pants. I don't do super well with cargo pants, but I thought I would give North Face a try. These I bought specifically for style because I thought these would be so cute. And I think if they don't sell by the time I go on my cruise, I mean, they seem kind of small. Um, I will wear them to my cruise. These are size medium and they're by bar three. And they are these amazing Palazzo pants. I think these would be perfect for a cruise, so I may end up wearing them to my cruise if they don't sell on time. Another for the style, I think it's by the same brand. Yeah, this is also bar three, size medium. And I loved these. These were my favorite. I just love that stripe look for the summer, those like thick block stripes, so pretty. And I'm gonna be excited to sell those. What are this? <laughs> know half the stuff I picked up these are oh these are the Chico's Travelers I wanted to try Chico's Travelers because I've never found them before but people tend to sell them really good on eBay or really really well on eBay so I wanted to pick them up they are a size two. Ooh, we have these these are PacSun they are the high-rise ankle jugging in size 26 I do like picking up PacSun jeans when they're interesting and these have the stripe on the side. So I think these will be really fun to sell as well. All right, and then we have another intimate. They're all like mixed together. I thought this one was really pretty. And this was, um, this is new with tags. This is a Soma size 38 double D, which technically could be my size if I ever needed to wear like a bra. I have one though, and I don't want to take off the tag but it's just a really pretty kind of lace um, strapless bra, size 38 double D. Ah, fine. Fun fact, I am a 36 to 38 triple D. So remember when I was in middle school and I would cry to my mom every day because people used to make fun of me for being flat chested. And my mom was like, just you wait. And I was like, that's never gonna happen. And my grandma used to say, don't worry, one day you will have a chest where you can throw them over your shoulders and use them as football pads. And now I make that joke all the time because they were right. First sweater made well size large, really nice kind of wool tunic sweater dress. I just thought it was really nice and just a nice basic for the fall and winter time, even though we are going to spring. 
YOLO. Um, next, we have this guy. What are you? This is mod cloth size large. I pick up almost everything mod cloth because I love mod cloth. And it's just this really nice wool bubble sleeve sweater. So pretty. I think this will be so nice as a transition piece from spring to uh, summer. We have this Tierra Internationals. This is a Rami cotton. I think it's definitely vintage. It has shoulder pads, but I thought it was so pretty and it's perfect for the summertime as well. It has sunflowers all over it. It's a really nice material and it's pretty heavy as well. So that is going to be nice. Then I think this is the final sweater. This is a Michael Simon. I've picked up Michael Simon in the past and sold it. It's like teacher wear. Like if you're a first grader kindergarten teacher, I would feel like you would wear this kind of stuff. So I bought one actually once that had um, writing all over it and I used the keyword teacher or like teacher cardigan and it sold like pretty fast. And this one is new with tags, Michael Simon. And it's just a black one. It's not as crazy the last one I found. That one was awesome, but it has this really nice like sateen kind of looking um, stuff on it. So I got that. Let's go through the last bag that I didn't even realize I had. Okay, so I did get a Lulu Lulu row dress. The reason I got it, it was because A, it had like flowers all over it, and B, it's a 2XL. Plus size Lulu row apparently still does good. I forget what dress this is called. I actually used to own one like this um, in a pink and black design, but I ended up selling it because it got too big for me after my weight loss. So I ended up selling it. And that's gonna just go over here. Another LuLaRoe dress. I couldn't say no to this one because it was so pretty. And this was an extra large. And this is just another really pretty kind of design. Sometimes LuLaRoe has like the weirdest designs. Like I don't really like to pick up their geometric print. But when it comes to their floral print, like I'm down for it. Okay. This is the final dress. The brand Shopo. And it is just this gorgeous mini dress that's like all like sequenced up and it's just so delicate and so beautiful and the sleeves are just gorgeous that I actually may just put this in my closet and wear this for the cruise and then sell it once I get back because I really want to take some pretty Instagram photos with it and it's just a deep V and it's nude and it's just I don't know I think it's the perfect like cruise formal dinner dress if you want to be like out there and I'm usually never out there but I think but I become a different person on cruises so yeah I don't know I just think it's so pretty so I'm actually gonna put this to the side here because I don't think I'm gonna sell this right now I think I will sell it after my cruise um, because I really want to wear that and it was only 10 bucks so holla at you girl Anyways, that was the entire haul today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you've gone to the 50% off savers. I'm still waiting. It's been about three weeks since I've gone to savers for their 50% off sale, but I haven't received another coupon and I'm waiting for the coupons because I do like to go to savers during the 50% off sale. Everything is so freaking cheap. So that's why I like to go. So I'm just waiting for another coupon. Hopefully I'll get one after I'm done listing everything and then it's time for me to go thrifting again and then it's all, I got a sale for you girl. And I'll be like, holla at your girl. I'm going to the saver sale. Anyways, I'm gonna go. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you guys all in the next video bye bye yo what's up i'm the mad hatter i'll pour you tea please don't let it spread her. does it really matter cuz i'm the mad hatter <laughs>